What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I got a review for you guys of a new Samsung product. Samsung released the S Pen Creator Edition for 99 US dollars a few days ago. They are very clearly trying to compete with the Apple Pencil here. So I wanna give you guys some thoughts after using it with um, my S23 Ultra, my various Samsung tablets as well, and also my wife's uh, Galaxy Book Samsung PC. So we'll talk about that today. And uh, before we do, I wanna remind you guys that uh, my son Jonathan always gives a couple dinos to hang out. We really appreciate him. If you guys drop him a thank you note below, he always appreciates it. We got the Inosaurus. This T-Rex back here has got an injured leg, so he's kind of laying down off to the side. And also want to remind you guys, if you're going to order an S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra from Samsung, check out the link in the description to my website. We do free mystery boxes for those of you in the United States who order from Samsung with our affiliate link. Uh, all you have to do is put in your name, first name, last name, email to sign up for the list. Uh, no cost to you. We cover shipping. We cover the cost of all the products. All you have to do is use our affiliate link to order from the Samsung website. It goes directly to the Samsung website. Place your order as you normally do. And you'll get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, some other cool accessories as well. We've been doing it for quite a while. We actually fund the shipping and everything through our affiliate sales. So we're kind of giving you guys something back for supporting the channel. We really love doing that for the community. So check out the link in the pinned comment and description. Uh, so first, before we kind of get into the usage of it, here's the packaging I showed you guys. It's very simple, um, nothing too crazy. You can see S Pen Creator Edition. I picked this up at Best Buy. I bought it with my own money. Nothing really comes in the packaging that's that exciting, except you've got the pen itself. This is the pen itself. And these are the replacement tips. This is how you're supposed to kind of replace the tips, pull them out there and then put the new tips on. Um, you could also use a traditional S Pen kind of pry tool that lets you pull them off that you get with your S23 Ultra in the box as well. You also get it with your tablets. Um, so there's nothing really too interesting in the box. This is kind of weird. I have heard from some people, some other people who reviewed this, that they tried pulling the tips off to replace them to see how it would work. And they actually ended up breaking the tip of their pen. So I don't know if this design is the best. I haven't done it yet because obviously I don't need a new tip. And... After I saw someone else say that, I didn't really want to break the tip so I could get this video to you guys. You got some Samsung branding. It's got a two-tone look, which is the first time I think Samsung has really done that on an S Pen. You guys can see right there, put my hand back there. Samsung branding. It's got a button right here that's also silver. And you can see it's got a rather large plastic tip on this pen, which is different than the rubber tip on the standard S Pen that comes with not only your S23 Ultra, but also with the tablets. I'm just going to show you guys the difference in size between all of them as well. You've got a flat side right here. Clearly, again, looks very similar to an Apple Pencil, aside from the two-tone silver look. Um, and this magnetically attaches to your various tablets. Uh, I'll show you guys with my Tab S9 FE in just a second. But uh, first, let me kind of show you on the S23 Ultra. Now, first of all, I'll, I'll preface this by saying I don't think anyone should buy this pen. And I think this should be fairly obvious to use it primarily with a smartphone because this creator edition is mainly for drawing. And as you'll see, I'm not sure there's a huge advantage to just paying $100 for this anyway, but definitely there's no advantage if you're using it just to take notes on your smartphone. Here's the built-in S Pen on the S23 Ultra. Of course, it's much longer as you would expect. You can see how much wider the tip is, of course, for the built-in S Pen, you kind of would expect that as well. And it's just much more comfortable to hold for long periods of time because it does have a nice kind of weighted feel. It's not as weighted as the Apple Pencil, I will say that, but it does have a nice weighted feel. Now this button does not have Bluetooth controller capabilities. So, you know, on your right, your S Pen that you have built in, you can press a button and you can play and pause your music, stuff like that. Um, you cannot do that on this S Pen. This button is programmable with certain drawing apps and note-taking apps, but it doesn't have any Bluetooth capabilities and it also doesn't need to be charged. So that's another benefit of course, the built-in one is charged, you know, by your phone, so you don't have to worry about it, but this one does not need to be charged at all. Um, now, using this pen, when I first got out of the box, it actually did not work really great with either my S23 Ultra or my tablets. I had to really like reset it by pressing down the button and then putting it on the back of my tablet for a while. Maybe that's just because it needed some charge but it didn't work great right out of the box, but I overcame that issue. I actually tweeted about it saying it was a bad experience. Quite a few people have had this issue where it's like, it doesn't do anything. It was like bugging out, causing all kinds of issues. Um, now, I think the main draw of this pen, I'm not a professional artist, but the main difference between this and other S pens is 
One, it's more comfortable to write with because it's longer, which is obviously a huge benefit. But also the tilt of this, you can tilt it at a very shallow angle to do shading um, because this has the plastic tip on it. Whereas one of these S pens, and I'll show you this with the tablet as well, if you tilt it too far shallow, eventually you really won't be able to get the same shading variation. This is also a bigger problem with the tablet ones because they have like a little rubber piece like this around it. And then the, I'm sorry, a plastic piece around it with a little rubber tip on the end, which I'll show you in a second when I pull up the tablet. So that causes some shading issues. Now, otherwise the latency, you know, there's not too much latency here in terms of drawing. Um, that of course also will depend on the app you use. This is pen up. I've also used Samsung notes as well. Like I said, I'm not a professional artist. So again, there's probably a lot of people out there who want to use this for artwork. So I'm trying to give some things that they would care about. The pressure sensitivity does seem really quite nice, actually. I mean, it has 4,096, you know, different levels of pressure sensitivity because it's a Wacom, you know, certified stylus here. Again, though, for the price, you know, what are you really getting that you can't get in other ones? I knocked the Ionosaurus over there. Let me put away the S23 Ultra here because, like I said, this is probably not what you really want to be using this for. Let me actually pull out my tablet here. This is my Tab S9 FE, and the Tab S9 FE does work nicely with this S Pen. Um, again, same sort of deal. You can charge it, you can magnetically attach it to the top. This, of course, doesn't really charge it because it's not the charging position. Uh, you can also attach it to the back. See, there it stays on there pretty good. Uh, you can also attach this to the back, but the problem is if you have a case on, let me actually flip it over here. If you have a case on, you can see I have my original S Pen on the back here, this mint green Tab S9 FE. Sorry there for the lack of focus. Uh, you can replace, you can use two S Pens at once, by the way, that's a feature that Samsung allows. But here, if you put it on the back to charge, you'll notice if you have the Samsung case, the case doesn't close. Now on some of the tablets, you can pop this off like this, and then you could actually slide the Creator Edition over ever so slightly, and now it will be on there magnetically on the back. So if you don't care about the camera being completely covered, it also doesn't look quite as seamless, you could attach this S Pen to the back um, and with no problem. Okay, so here's kind of a comparison of the S Pen that comes with the Tab S9 FE to the Creator Edition. It's longer and also thicker. Uh, of course, both of them do have that button. Both of them have that flat side. You know, the Creator Edition one, again, here's a difference between the two tips. You see you've got this really thick plastic tip, whereas this one's got kind of a rubberized tip on the very end. And then it's got some plastic underneath it, as I was mentioning. So if we open up, let me open up the pinup app here really quickly. Go back in here. Tablets are always fun to do with my setup because I use phones so much that I try to get some decent lighting and lack of glare and everything for you guys. If we go here, let's use the S Pen here with the Tab S9 FE. Let's go ahead and go into Pen Up again, and then let's try to do a little bit of shading, kind of like I showed you before. Again, the tilt, you can get it almost parallel and you still get some shading. If you use the S9 FE, you see here how the shading is kind of spotty the more I tilt it. If you try to tilt it all the way parallel, this one's actually better than I tested on the S9 Ultra. I was able to get a little bit more. Samsung seems to have done a little bit better with that. But with some apps um, that I tested, some third-party apps, Penup seems to be better than most. The shading when it's closer tilted horizontally is not nearly as good with the built-in S Pen as it is with the Creator Edition. Now. I will tell you as well that when you write with this, you're also going to get that feeling of, you can kind of hear it, the glass on plastic feeling. Whereas if you write with this one, it's, le it's less noisy, right? Uh, if you put a screen corrector on there, of course, it'll help with that. But you should also keep in mind that this one is a lot smoother than the plastic tip that comes on the regular S Pen with your Tab S9. Uh, Tab S7, Tab S8, or your S23 Ultra. So overall, I mean, the big advantages here are the flat side for magnetic attaching, the extra tilt, which apparently works pretty decent in pen up with the standard S Pen, 
um, the bigger size, which obviously gives it some ergonomic benefits if you do a lot of drawing. And there are other, other options out there like Wacom's own stylus and also the Stettler stylus as well that are quite a bit cheaper. They just don't have the magnetic attachment necessarily. Um, and the Wacom one has the button on it, but then it doesn't really have the magnetic attachment. So you're really paying a lot of extra money to get kind of, this is nicely integrated with Samsung, with Samsung branding. Um, but I don't know that it's really the best option out there given the extremely large price that Samsung has put on it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna continue using this one just because to me, when I take notes, I mainly do it since I'm a math professor for taking notes for my students, for my lecture. It is more comfortable to use for long periods of time. So I'm gonna keep it and use it. I prefer it over the built-in one because of the length, the extra length and size and also the weight balancing in the hand. But uh, if you're looking for the cheapest option with the highest quality ratio, uh, I'll link a couple of those other options down there that I mentioned if you want to get those for drawing, note-taking, etc. on your Samsung tablet. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you're going to order a tab, uh, Galaxy S24 Ultra, S24, S24 Plus, uh, you can check out the mystery boxes in the description. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.